Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Monday, October 24th. It's the 23rd week after Pentecost and week 3 in the Psalm Cycle. And today we also celebrate the feast of St. James, Bishop of Jerusalem, the first Bishop of Jerusalem, and the brother of our Lord. The scripture for this service, Psalm 130 and Revelation 11, verse 1 through 14. Now please join me in singing the third stanza of Psalm 95. Come let us worship and bow down, bending the knee before our Maker. You are our God and we are your people, the flock that you shepherd. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help thee. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, out of the depths I cry to you. O God most high, hear my voice. Hallelujah, Psalm 130. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, out of the depths I cry to you. O God most high, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my supplications. If you should mark our sins, who can stand? But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. I wait for you, my soul waits, and in your word I hope. My soul waits for you, more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in God, for with you there is mercy and fullness of redemption and you shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Out of the depths I cry to you, O God Most High. Hear my prayer. Hallelujah. A reading from the Revelation to John, chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Come, measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there. But do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample over the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant my two witnesses authority to prophesy for 1,260 days wearing sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Most High of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. Anyone who wants to harm them must be killed in this manner. They have authority to shut the sky so that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have authority over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that is prophetically called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, members of the peoples and tribes and languages and nations 
will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And the inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and celebrate and exchange presents, because these two prophets had been a torment to the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them, and they stood on their feet, and those who saw them were terrified. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went to heaven in a cloud while their enemies watched them. At that moment there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed, and the third woe is coming very soon. Here ends the lesson. And now we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Comfort your people, O God of Israel, and forgive us our sins and offenses. For we watch for you, and we wait for you, and we place our hope in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.